Hi everyone, welcome back to Colouring with Kay. Um, thank you for joining me today. So um, I hope you are all doing well. So this is going to be the Olympics tag. So um, this tag was created by Danny Buttons and I was kindly tagged by Erica from Elm Colours. So I'd like to thank both ladies, um, Danny for creating this brilliant tag and Erica from Elm Colours for tagging me. So thank you. Um, I mean, I'm sorry that it's taken me a little while to get to this. Um, I went for a short break these um, this last week. So um, I finally come back and, and got to it. So um, before I do that, I just wanted to mention something. So basically there's some freebie pages that are available from um, two great artists. We've got um, Rita Berman, who's got a travel book out. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the title is because I think it is in German. Uh, Europa or something like that. Um, on the 27th of August, that's, that's coming out. So mine's on pre-order from Book Depository. And on Instagram, she's made available um, two pages, um, you know, as, as a freebie for us to colour, um, to keep us going before her new book's release. So there's this one, which is absolutely beautiful, with little mini pictures. I just really love these, um, particularly this globe in the middle. So absolutely awesome. So there's that one. And the other one that she's um, provided is this one as well. With the lovely flowers um, and a really cute house and the ladybirds as well. So those are the two pages. Um, I will link that uh, below in the description. And then Johanna Basford um, also made available um, a couple pages linked to um, TEDx, which is a TED event that took place in Aberdeen. And so uh, there's this one. I really like this one particularly because it's got lots of scientific type things in it as well. <coughs> you've got the magnifying glass, you've got um, the conical flask. <coughs> Excuse me, still a bit, um, you know, weird with my throat and cough. Um, and then a compass there as well. It's just, I really like it. So um, it says, add a splash of colour to our inspiring granite city. And then this one... <clears throat> which I printed out on tan paper but it's a mixed media paper with the little mini illustrations so um, I will also link that below but you um, but I think if you you're on the mailing list for f with for Johanna Basford's um, inky emails then you'll you'll have received a link for these so there we go those are those pages so I thought I'd just mention that before I begin in the tag so so the first <coughs> excuse me for the first question we have is opening ceremonies who are you rooting for and where are you from so i am from um the uk um the part that i live in is yorkshire it's got beautiful countryside around here somewhere um and uh yeah so i'm team gb team great britain so I um of course I just put this here because you know it's nice to see. Um the United Kingdom has got just the beautiful things to see as well, you know, in terms of history, in particular the beautiful countryside, just so much to offer. So yeah, that's my answer to number one. I am rooting for uh Great Britain. So that's that one. Number one. Number two, diving. What book made you dive into colouring? The book that made me dive into colouring, um, no questions asked, was definitely Secret Garden. So when this book came out, I, I saw the book, um, and this is my first copy. I think I saw it in um, Waterstones, which is a bookshop in the UK, and I thought, this is so beautiful, this book. And at that time, I didn't really, I mean... I coloured as a kid, but all I knew was really... I, I didn't like coloured pencils at that time. I just used to colour um, using felt pens. And I thought, if I use felt pens, they might go through. And I didn't know anything about <coughs> any makes or brands of, you know, pencils that I know about now. And I just, like... I just 
decided right okay and, and I did go backwards and forwards and think should I buy it should I not and then eventually I did buy it the only thing about this book is I would have preferred it if it was on um, less yellowish paper because this is quite this paper to me is quite yellowish um, I prefer a cream paper um, I mean I still love the book of course but that's just a personal preference so yeah I have done some I thought I'd just show you a quick flip of what I've done so there you go that's it so that's Secret Garden that got me into colouring I think it was probably for most people one of the books that got them into um, <coughs> colouring started to colour the cover page but didn't get very far and number three what would you flip out if you what would you flip out for if you got it uh, I wasn't sh quite sure what this means so I asked my husband and he said basically it means that um, <clears throat> what would you like be really amazed about if you got it you know really just totally blown over by um, and it would be a house extension because if I haven't got my own um, colouring space or colouring room um, and I do colour uh, most of my colouring stuff is in my living room and um, so if I had my own like craft area like complete craft area room um, that would just I'd be totally flipped out <laughs> with that because it'd just be amazing to have a like a permanent desk but I would I want it I'm quite fussy I'd want it next to the living room really rather than in a bedroom upstairs somewhere um, I just like it to be sort of downstairs I don't know but anyway that that's what it would be number four tennis what made you go back and forth before buying um lots of things make me go back and forth um so let's put my little lovely kitten kitten here um so so you've got something to look at and um I'd say <coughs> lots of things like prismas my whole binds and like with my prismas um I had such bad reviews, I heard such bad reviews about them early in my colouring journey and I really wanted to try them but it really put me off all the negative reviews so then I, I think I bought a pack of 24 and I was in love with them and then I thought okay I'll buy 72 so then I bought 72 then I bought 132 I think it is um, and then I made the rest up with up to 150 open stock so I did go back and forth and now I've learnt I've learnt that always try to buy the biggest set um, in the beginning because you know if you can afford it try to buy the biggest set that you can possibly afford because um, otherwise if you're like me you'll just go <coughs> back and forth so next thing is um, yeah, my pasta laws as well was something else that I went back and forth. I saw loads of people on YouTube with them and I thought, should I, should I not? I've already got the whole buying full set, so should I, should I not? And then I sort of gave in. And that's another thing, actually. I, I did see the pasta laws on Amazon UK for £25.99. Um, so I think they, they're, on, they're, they're on for more expensive than they have been for when you get them from Poland. Um, but yeah, they are available there. Just thought I'd mention that, right? Number five, just get a drink of um, water. Okay, so number five is wrestling. What one trend do you wrestle with? What can you not get behind? Okay, so this is going to be, um, you know, the, uh, you know, don't come for me. I like this is just, I just can't get into it. So I'm sorry, but that's just me. It's the horror coloring books. You know the beauty of horror books I just it's just not for me um some you know like there's certain things that we're into we're all different so that's just not for me I do like um like you know the Halloween certain Halloween books so I have got like two or three Halloween books but I'm not into the um beauty of horror books and also the ch chibi or is it chibi coloring books yeah I, I don't have any of them either um just not into those sort of books really um, number six marathon what page took you the longest to color so we'll move you out of the way here and so this is the marathon for number six um i would say 
it's hard for me I can't really remember to be honest so I've, I've got two books um, for question six marathon that took me the longest to colour it will be pages in either of these two books basically that took me the longest to colour it's either so I'll show Colin Thompson's first um, it's either this double page spread which did take forever I do remember that, that I did that in 2020 during the summer took a long time but I really enjoyed it as you can imagine um, I do want to get back to this book definitely and uh, or this one because I know that this one took me a a long time to colour so it's either one of those or it could be one in here probably a double page so it won't be this one for example but um, one of these it won't have been this one as well because it's a single page but it might have been this one um, could have also been that one because I know that these pages are so amazing but so detailed so they will have taken uh, that this one was is I think the most recent one that I've done I know that this one took me a long time to do it has been yeah yeah it has been pre-prepared with um, golden satin liquid um, this one I do want to do again uh, I think this one took me a while as well so it could have been any of these double pages I just can't remember um, unfortunately so that's number six marathon number seven basketball what artist is a slam dunk for you oh well, there's just so many there's lots and lots of artists um, that I would just buy without um, you know well without too much thought really because I love their work so that's Joanna Basford, Kirby Rosans, Rita Berman, Lulu Mayo, Maria Troll and um, the author of Circle of Life so Mel, Mel Pamini um, those are artists that you know even like Colin Thompson there's just so many that I would just buy their their new books number eight surfing what is your new newest find so my newest finds are these uh, things so you might see this if you're interested in my new to me mediums uh, a video I did on YouTube quite re recently really and I'm showing sort of using these so these are polishes these are polishes so we've got a metallic gliding polish like that I could open it you do get a sponge here on top which this looks like that so you can use that as an applicator and then there we go um, lovely gold so I've only got a couple of these metallic ones I think a gold one and a pearl one and then this one's a matte chalk polish so these are all by Cosmic Shimmer these polishes uh, so that's a chalk polish so I thought these would be quite nice for backgrounds and things so this one is a Cosmic Shimmer now this is opal blaze polish these give a really nice sheen I think this one's called gilded avocado so it's got like a greenish tinge to it just you just only need a small amount you get a small amount but actually it is enough because you only use trust that to happen you only need a little amount really I don't even know what that is oh, I think that came off probably there so yeah <coughs> the cosmic shimmer polishes either metallic gilding polishes chalk matte chalk polishes and the opal blaze polishes and the other thing was these um by nouveau which are these mousses so this is a nouveau embellishment mousse adds a metallic dimensional detail to your craft project so that looks like a mousse it looks like you know you could eat it um, you know like the mousses that you eat but obviously not uh, for eating so yeah these are quite nice as well I just got two of them um, see how I get on with them so yeah those are the new-ish supplies that I've recently discovered um, number nine is synchronized swimming what was your favorite buddy color right I love all my buddy colors and I'm so glad that I've done them I've had a not that many buddy colours. I've had a few buddy colours. 
but my most favourite one, now I'm going to try to find the book, so do bear with me. Um, my favourite body colour is the one in Circle of Life and basically that's because, I think because it's my favourite book, so um, that's why I think it's my favourite body colour as well. But the re the other reason is because I am totally in love with the page. So this is like going to be an exclusive view for you because I'm going to show you because it's my current body colour. So this is my current body colour um, with um, Helena from The Colouring Zone. And um, that's just, I thought I'd show it because, you know, just nice to see a preview isn't it sometimes so you can see that I've already started it um, I've got some work to do on it um, I try to make this here at the top look a little bit like you know it's more like a bit of the sunlight coming through and you've got a few rays and stuff so I don't know if you can see the metallic rays because that is I sort of used metallic clear paint pearl paints copper and blue pearl I think copper pearl and blue pearl but I am going to put some shiny stuff here at the top as well um, <clears throat> so what can I say yeah I've got metallic paints on I've used polychromos on the wheel but yeah this the reason one of the two two main reasons one is because it's um, in my favorite book that this is my um, favorite buddy color it's in my favorite book the second reason is because it's a double page and it's challenging and um, complicated um, and detailed so yeah but yeah it's, it's just yeah that's that's basically hopefully it'll get finished either for August or September so yep that's in the circle of life with Helena um, from the colouring zone and next 10 soccer what is the one goal you have for this year so basically the one goal is that I need to stop buying um like just any coloring books i need to be i'm going to be i have already actually started doing this for the last few weeks i've been a bit more selective so only buy coloring books that i am really going to be really really want so rita berman's new book is one of them for example um i think millie marotta is coming out with a c themed book so that's one of them but i'm not um I really want to use the books that I've actually got at the moment and um, so yeah just be a bit more selective and like use the stuff that I've already got because I have a I have a lot of stuff I'm very blessed in that sense and I'm really grateful for what I have and uh, just need to make more use of it so yeah that's just that's just my goal I think number 11 decathlon what are your 10 favorite books I'm going to put these together and in a sec I'll be back Okay, so 10 favourite books uh, in no particular order. Um, um, well, there is one that's my favourite, which you already know about, which is Circle of Life. So that's probably the number one position. But the rest of them aren't in any order, really. So A Million Cute Animals. Um, I love Lulu Mayo's work. So therefore, this is probably my favourite one. This one or the Llama one. I can't, I can't really remember. Um, but the Llama one's actually got quite cute pictures in it. But this... This one is probably my favourite of hers. I do really like the bear one as well. So yeah, million cute animals. Um, oops. Um, I have done another one in here, which I will show you at the end of August. So yeah, million cute animals. Uh, what else? Of course, it's going to be um, a Rita Berman book and I just chose I've got all her four separate season books as well and I did buy another of her I saw um, Imogen on um, her channel The Colouring Kid and I saw that she would brought the second a second copy of the the under the the animals land book and I I want I did want to buy a second copy of that myself because similar to her I bought her first animal book the land book a few you know years and years ago and I didn't really know much about colouring then so I wanted a second copy to sort of try some pictures out but anyway back to this sorry I got distracted again so here um I just thought I'd show this one so this is the seasons 
compilation as you can see I, I just like to buy all her books because her work is just stunning so that's one of the ones I did in uh, July really pleased with that one um, just give me a second chance at colouring certain ones and then I have Worlds Within Worlds as well which is my favourite Kirby Roseanne's book I have done a lot in here but I do need to come back to this book because um, well, because I've got a second copy and I do want to do some of these again definitely um, so yeah Worlds Within Worlds I do really like this picture in fact I like all the pictures to be honest <coughs> this is one of my um, favourite ones I, I just really like this dragon and that one as well so yes um, that's Worlds Within Worlds and then the other favourite is of course by Tomislav Tomic Drom and Vanga you've already seen me flick through this one so I won't bother so yeah Drom and Vanga by Tomislav Tomic my favourite um, mythographic one is Paradise by Fabiana Atanasio. So this one is a, a really nice book as well. It's just, just amazing. I've done quite a few of the pictures in here and I am going to do a... Um, one of my lovely viewers, subscribers, asked if I could show all my complete pages in the mythographic series. So I'll be doing that. And after this video I am hoping to start filming a partial colour along type thing for this picture here. So I'm going to get on with that. Put that to the side because I will be using that book. Next favourite is by Hannah Calzon. Um, this is her first book I think and it's also my favourite and I have got a second copy. I think I've got a second copy of the Dutch version. So I think it's called Drommenvanger. So yeah this is... Um, <coughs> definitely one of my well the favorite of the Hannah Carl's one I do really like the summer nights one as well <coughs> excuse me to apologize for that this is one of my favorite pictures that I've colored in here really like how I've done the whole picture yeah that I mean that is also one of my favorite pictures of hers um, but yeah done quite a fair bit in here and I did want to finish this book at one point but I don't think it'll be this year right Worlds of Wonder by Johanna Basford again one of my favorites I have completed um, there's a video of my of this one that I did on my channel um, this is one of my other buddy colors as well that was with Helena as well I think from the colouring zone um, I have completed one in here that I am not going to show you that's going to be a surprise at the end of August so there's that one it's the double it's the first double page so I won't show you that because um, that's it really I think is there any more? oh yeah there's this one which was last month but uh, yeah I'm actually hoping to do this one as well, but um, <clears throat> I've seen some amazing complete pages of that on uh, Pinterest and stuff. My other favourite is Curious Creatures, Creative Haven. Um, who's this by? This is by um, Amy Webber. Yeah, this is one of my, my well, probably my favourite Creative Haven book. It's just so cute. And I've got a second copy of this as well. Um, I've like I've pre-prepared my pages when I wanted to use watercolour so yeah this is definitely a favourite um, Colin Thompson's um, I've already shown you the two pages I've completed in here but Colin Thompson's colouring book is also a favourite his artwork is great and of course last but not least the circle of life is definitely a favorite you can see that it's a bit dirty the covers because it gets just so much use uh, this book I try to do three a month um, but anyway hopefully near the end of the year I will do a flip of all my complete pages in circle of life so that's number 
11 de decathlon what are you, your 10 fave books so now 12 closing ceremonies pass the torch who should do this tag next so I am tagging Courtney from Colour Me Spiffy um, Lily from Art Journey UK and Nikki in Niagara so hopefully that covers the people from the different countries I think it's uh, the US, uh, UK and Canada um, so yeah I hope if, if possible, uh, ladies, I hope you can do the Olympics tag. Um, so, yeah, and I'd, again, I'd like to thank Erica from Elm Colours for tagging me and Danny uh, from Danny Buttons here on YouTube for creating the tag. So thank you, everyone, for watching. Take care and see you next time. Bye.